are you ready to play the Halloween Spin the Wheel Challenge? We're going to spin the wheel to see which costumes we're going to wear this year. Casey's going first. Let's do this. Three, two, one, spin! It landed on ghosts! Yes! Super easy to make and extra spooky. <laughs> I totally got a shot at winning that costume contest this year. Um, excuse me, did you just say costume contest? Because you must know that Ginny has won the scariest costume contest four years in a row. And this year, I'm going for number five. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see us make Casey's ghost costume, hit that thumbs up button. <gasps> Let's do this, Casey. All right, see you, Jimmy. Ghost schmost, I got this costume contest down. Easy peasy. Hey, Coach, have you any good ideas on what we could use for Casey's ghost costume? Oh, a ghost. Uh, well, you could use a tablecloth or you could use uh, toilet paper. But I have to warn you, we're a little bit low on TP. We can fix that. <laughs> Look, we found all the toilet paper and we didn't really have to look that hard. Where did you find all of that? I hope it's not the last. Oh, I think it's time to put on Casey's ghost costume, right Casey? You yeah. can stand over there and put your arms straight out. <laughs> Coach, here's a couple of toilet paper rolls and <laughs> we'll just get started on wrapping. Three, two, one, wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> You're gonna be the coolest looking ghost. I'm so excited, Jimmy's gonna be so scared. <laughs> now I hope this wasn't the last of the toilet paper, Ellie. <laughs> Let's just keep wrapping, shall we? <clears throat> now to put on the finishing touches. All right, that's it. Casey the Ghastly Ghost, how are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like I got the scariest costume award on luck. <laughs> now I'm gonna go find Jimmy and spook him. Jimmy, must find Jimmy. We're back at the wheel and this time it's Jimmy's turn. Scariest costume award, here I come. Ready, three, two, one, spin. Cool, it landed on a butterfly. Just look at it, how cute. A colorful fluttering butterfly. Oh no, not a butterfly. I can't be a butterfly. Casey will definitely win the costume contest. Oh, I gotta think of something quick. Oh, uh, hey Ellie, look over there. Huh? Respin. Hey, no respins. And it landed on a superhero. I'm a superhero. I mean, I guess technically it isn't the scariest costume, but nah, I can make it work. This costume award is as good as mine. Thanks Ellie. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, have you seen any toilet paper around? I can't find a single roll. Not now, Coach Rocco. We have bigger fish to fry. I need a hero costume. A hero that also happens to be scary. What do you got? Uh, well, I have your Super Jimmy costume right where you left it. Now you need to put things away after you're done and you'll be able to find them. Awesome! Super Jimmy saves the day again. <laughs> But wait a second, where's my mask? Oh no, my costume isn't complete without my mask. Oh, well, Casey's using your mask now. But look, we have a ton of Halloween masks left over here. I'm sure one of them will work. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, Casey. All right, but one of those masks better be scary. Remember, I need to win the scariest costume award. Huh, well, the problem is, Coach, that this contest is about the scariest costume, not the furriest. Come on, Jimmy, that mask is perfect. Now give me your best spooky Super Jimmy roar. <sighs> I'm Super Jimmy, the scary hero. Ooh, I'm scared already. Now say it again like you mean it. Huh, really? Okay, I'm Super Jimmy, the scary spooky hero. Ah, ah, ah and I'm here to save and scare the day. You know what, Coach? I think you might be right. I can make this work. Let's go scare somebody. I really need a hobby. Last but definitely not least, it's my turn to pick out a costume. I'm so ready for this. Three, 
two, one, spin! Ooh, it landed on a witch! Awesome! That costume is super spooky. In fact, I think I already have some costume pieces in my bedroom. Let's go! All right, Sparkle Squad, the three main ingredients to a excellent witch's costume is the cape, the broom, and of course, the witch's hat. And luckily, I have a cape right over here. I was saving it just for this occasion. Look at how cool that looks, super spooky. And I think that Coach Rocco left a broom here last time he was tidying. Yep, just as I expected. <laughs> as witchy as I want it, but this will definitely do. And finally, the witch's hat. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to make it this time around with my art supplies. <sighs> You'll need some paper. It can be any color, but I chose black. Something sticky like tape or glue and something to cut with. Be careful. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make Something that looks like a triangle or a cone. Now usually I pick a cone because it's super easy to roll up. You make one end small and the other end super wide. Just like this. Perfect cone. And then cut along the bottom to make it straight. And then once you're done with that, you're going to cut out a circle. A really big circle. To be the brim of the hat. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut it out of this. Ta-da! Look at me! I'm all done! My witch's costume is complete! <laughs> Coach Rocco, come over! Take a look! Whoa! Ellie the Wicked Witch of Sparkleville! And I like this broom! Nice touch! Are you ready to judge some costumes? Yep! Send them in! All right, send in the first costume! It's Jimmy the Spooky Superhero! <gasps> It's me, Super Spooky Jimmy, and I'm here to save and scare the day. I bet you must be really scared now. Oh, Jimmy, you're the cutest superhero I've ever seen. Look at that cute little puppy mask. <laughs> oh, no, she thinks I'm cute. Oh, I told you that this was too cute to work. Well, she thinks you're cute in a very nervous way. She's too scared to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, you ready to judge the second costume? Uh-huh. I introduce Casey the Ghastly Ghost! <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost! Casey, you're really getting good at floating around like a ghost. Spooky <laughs> and silly. I like it. Oh, thanks! Hey, that means I'm way scarier than Jimmy's costume. Oh, but I'm just not as cute. So cute. Hey, <laughs> wait a second. Is that my mask? How did you get that? I borrowed it. Oh, I should have gotten the frog mask instead. <laughs> oh, uh, Coach Rocco, don't worry. Once we're done, I'm going to roll all the toilet paper back up. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch, because I looked everywhere. We're completely out. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, now it's your turn. Who do you think won this competition? Huh? Is it me, Ellie Sparkles the Witch? Ooh. <laughs> Or is it Casey the Spooky Ghost? Ooh. Or is it Jimmy the Furry Superhero? Oh, me, 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 pick me. Oh, my costume was supposed to be way scarier, but Casey took my mask and oh, I'm oh, going for five years in a row. Come on, He's always got some on. Okay, yeah. I'm making a I'm It's kind of cool. Let's spin for a room. I got the kitchen! Oh yes! I got Ellie's room! Oh yeah! My turn! Awesome! I got my own bedroom! Easiest challenge ever! Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see who leaves their room first, give me a big thumbs up! Whoever's the first to leave, loses! <laughs> Ellie got stuck in the kitchen, and Casey got stuck in Ellie's room, but I get my whole room to myself. My favorite room ever. It has everything I could possibly need. My comfy bed, my trusty basketball hoop for some ballin', and even some company. My best friend in the whole world, Jimmy, too. Ah, what more could a Jimmy need? 
Hey Ellie, hey Casey. You know, if you want to forfeit the challenge right now and just crown me the winner, it might save you two a lot of trouble. Just say You win a challenge? I'll believe that when I see that, Jimmy. She's just jealous because she's stuck in the kitchen. Boy, and Casey must be really upset. Stuck in Ellie's room with all that pink. <laughs> but enough about those two. This is Jimmy time. And I want to hmm, play basketball. Yeah, what else? Where's that basketball? Huh, where is it? Oh, no, not soccer. That's Casey's. Another soccer ball? What's with all this soccer? Uh -oh. Oh. Basketball, where are you? Where'd you go? You couldn't have gotten far. Oh no, this is a disaster. Ah! Oh, boiled again. What am I going to do? How am I going to spend a day in my room alone with no basketball? Huh, I might as well be in Ellie's room. That's it. Ellie's room. I left my basketball in Ellie's room. And Casey's in there now. <gasps> hey, Casey. Oh, I mean, uh. Hey, Casey. Uh, uh, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah, w what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just uh checking in on you, that's all. <laughs> you know, between you and me, I've always thought that you were much cooler than Ellie and uh, much better at challenges and things of that <laughs> nature, too. Wait a minute. Jimmy, you're telling me that's all you had to tell me? Oh, yeah, and um, just one more teeny tiny little thing. Do you um happen to see my basketball anywhere in that room of yours? Basketball. Uh-huh. Oh, Jimmy, you mean this really awesome bouncy orange ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found it all right. Think I'm going to keep this for myself. <laughs> what? You cannot keep my basketball. That is property of Jimmy. Besides, that's my number one basketball for doing spinneroonies. I need that basketball back right now. I need it yesterday. Hand it over. Hmm. Tell you what, Jimmy. You make me an offer for your precious basketball, and I'll maybe think about doing a switcheroony, all right? Uh, maybe. A switcheroony? For my basketball? Um, sure, okay. How about I do your homework for one week if you give me back my ball? I'll even do your math homework. Ooh, math homework, huh? Well, that's tempting. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, one second. Hey, Ellie! Can you hear me down there? Casey, is that you? Uh, yeah. So, turns out I got Jimmy's precious basketball up here, and he wants to trade me it for doing my math homework for a week. Uh, what do you think? Should I take it? Jimmy? Doing your homework for <laughs> any subject? That's gonna be a big no thank you for me. But he should definitely give you something that matters to him. Like his Jimmy 2 cutout. Ask him for that. Oh, Ellie, you're genius. Um, hang on. I'll let you know what he says. Hey, Jim Rooney. Uh, no can't do on the math homework, but I'll maybe trade you your precious basketball for, I don't know, say, your Jimmy 2 cutout? Jimmy 2? You want Jimmy 2? No way! Oh, on second hand, I guess I really do need that basketball. Oh, what to do, what to do? <sighs> well, Jimmy 2, I guess this is it. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Boy, we've had some good times over the years, haven't we? Tricked Coach Rocco like 20 times. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, it's gonna be okay. But don't worry, I am not going to let her use you in gym class. And I'm especially not gonna let her take your gold medal. You're staying with me. All right, Casey. You can have Jimmy too. But at least let me keep his medal. For old time's sake. Mm. Hang on to that thought. Um, I'll let you know what I think. Be right back. Okay, Ellie, we got Jimmy too. But of course, there's a catch. Jimmy wants to keep his gold medal. What do you think? Is it worth it? Tell him no medal, no deal. And on more important matters, how do you like my bedroom so far? Your bedroom? Are you kidding? I love it. 
Hey, you know, you got a lot of stuff to do up here. I think I could hang out here for a long, long time. <laughs> you got yourself some competition there, Sparkles. <laughs> hey, what, what's that smell? Are you making something down there? Oh, it smells amazing. What is that? Oh, it's nothing special. I'm just cooking up my special Ellie Sparkles pancakes. Hope the smell's not too distracting for you. <laughs> Since I'm in the kitchen, I get access to all the food and I'm definitely not letting that go to waste. So I'm gonna make pancake <laughs> art. Delicious and fun. Let's try a heart-shaped pancake. <laughs> Alrighty, I think it's time. <gasps> Perfect! One down and maybe about 10 more to go and then Casey and Jimmy will come right down and eat them and leave their rooms making me the challenge winner. Easy peasy. <laughs> uh, now Ellie, you know what today is, right? It's Tuesday, it's kitchen cleaning day. Oh, but Coach, we're in the middle of this last to leave the room challenge and I'm in the kitchen, so... Uh, all right, I get it. I know you've got these challenges, so I'll just clean very quietly and leave the kitchen spotless. You won't even notice I'm here. <laughs> it's time for Superstar Jimmy to do his world famous move. Is he gonna go for it, Bob? I think he is, Marv. It's time for the Jimmy Sockaroonie. Huh. Well, it's just not the same with socks instead of a ball. Ugh, that is rough. These must be Coach Rocco's. That does it. The time has come for me to get my ball back once and for all. And I don't care what it takes. Hey, Casey, are you still in there? Nothing. She must be asleep. I knew it. Ellie's room is so boring, it would make anyone take a nap. That means it's the perfect time for me to sneak in and get my ball back. Give me something good to eat. Ciao. <gasps> Going somewhere, Jimmy? Um, Coach Rocco. I see you found Jimmy too. Thanks for finding him for me. Oh, I can explain everything. You see, it was um, it was all Casey's idea. It was Casey, one hundred percent. I think you mean this basketball is 100% Casey's. <laughs> hey, Sparkles, think we just found our first elimination of the challenge. Jimmy. No, 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 I'm ruined. Come on, Coach Rocco, you gotta give me a do-over. I picked my own room, please. No, Jimmy, no do-overs. Now come with me. We have to talk about this cutout. How long have you had this for? <laughs> He's my best friend. I'm so sorry I let you down, Jimmy, too. March. <laughs> mm -hmm. Staying in the kitchen all day makes you an expert at making pancakes. <laughs> Wait a second. Where'd this come from? Oh, I got syrup on my brand new outfit. Guess I'll have to go clean it up. Gross. <laughs> yeah! Casey, Ellie. <laughs> I totally was not coming down here to get pancakes or anything. And I totally wasn't gonna go get a new outfit or anything, so. This never happened? Never happened. Now, Jimmy, the issue of the cardboard cutout is serious business. I'm beginning to think that you use this thing instead of going to class yourself. Now, you were awfully quiet in math class. And come to think of it, you didn't say a peep in science class. Now, I'm, won I'm wondering if this is you now, Jimmy. Perhaps this whole place is another cardboard cutout. Maybe I'm a cardboard. 